G'day, I'm Jeremy Giddings, Irrigation Manager with Agriculture Victoria. Today we're going to be looking at irrigation uniformity to ensure that you get the most out of your available water. In Australia's dry climate, supplementary irrigation is essential to achieve optimum yield and quality in most vineyards. Drip irrigation systems can be the most efficient way of delivering irrigation water to vines, but proper maintenance is essential to keeping these systems performing well. The most common problems that can affect drip irrigation are emitter clogging, dripper component deterioration, and system pressure mismanagement. These issues can affect the uniformity of irrigation distribution across a vineyard. Poor uniformity can lead to over-irrigation of some vines and under-irrigation of others, leading to losses of yield and quality. Regular monitoring of irrigation system performance is key to detecting any issues before they affect yield and quality. Today I'll show you two simple techniques that you can use to measure how well your irrigation system is performing. The first is how to measure dripper discharge and the second is how to measure the operating pressure of your drippers. To measure dripper discharge you'll need a 50mm measuring cylinder, a timer and a recording sheet like this one that can be found on the water management page of the AWRI website. To take the measurement Place the measuring flask under a dripper for 36 seconds. After 36 seconds, remove the cylinder from under the drip line and record the volume obtained. Multiply this value by 100 to give the dripper discharge in litres per hour. To measure the operating pressure, you will need a pressure gauge attached to a brass adapter. Pressure gauges are available at most irrigation suppliers. The measures are recorded on the same recording sheet. When measuring operating pressure, ensure the drippers are not damaged through excessive force. Record the operating pressure in kilopascals. To determine how uniformly your irrigation system is performing, these measurements should be conducted at different points in each valve in your vineyard. Measurements should be taken towards the extremities of the submain and the laterals in high and low lying areas and in high and low vigour areas. In most cases, nine monitoring sites per valve is sufficient. These measurements should be taken in each valve at the start of the season and at regular intervals throughout the season to track any changes in irrigation performance. Variation in dripper discharge of more than plus or minus 5% from the manufacturer's recommendations indicates an issue with the system. A follow-up video on irrigation system maintenance explains how to address any issues that are identified. And there's a lot more information on irrigation system monitoring and maintenance on the water management page of the AWRI website. 